basically the food industry in America is very corrupt. It's called an addiction. I just wear it to sleep. I actually kind of really want to try it on right now. Whenever I was painting, I got some paint on it and it really annoyed me. And I don't wear the shirt out, but I wear it to sleep a lot. I didn't think it would annoy me that much, but it definitely annoyed me. And I'm so glad that I now have cut it. I think I've outgrown, don't quote me on this, but I think I've outgrown the crop look. Like I'm not really into showing my belly button anymore. Maybe it's because my frontal lobe is developing. I'm almost 22, that is crazy. But anyways, so like even though I cropped this t-shirt, it's still fully covering me. Anyways, I just wanted to get that done today because I woke up wearing it. It's just been on my mind. Hello everyone, it is currently 11.40. I have spent all morning just everywhere, honestly, but in a good way. I went ahead and put a lot of my thoughts down on paper. And what that looks like for me is just a bunch of sticky notes and like things to do and yada yada yada. But today is the last day of September, which is bonkers that's just bonkers like what and so i went ahead and kind of planned out my month or kind of just things that i love to keep up with and events that i already know are coming up honestly as i go through every month i kind of learn what worked for me what didn't work for me whether it's how i set it up or my goals also my dog's barking she sees demons for real no it's the squirrels anyways one thing I also love about keeping everything in a planner is how I can just look back and look at all the things that I have accomplished and goals that I have reached and just, I, I don't know, that makes me really excited. September was a super awesome month. I've been really, really focusing on my gut health and I've been learning about like, my metabolic health. Again, you're not gonna do everything correct first time around or like accomplish everything you want to accomplish the first time around but I think just learning and continuing to learn has helped me so much and I highly suggest I have linked down below some podcasts that I listen to a lot that are just very educational I've linked them down below but I'll link them down again just for you guys because of course like everyone deserves to have the information luckily for us if you're watching this video you can definitely watch informational things that could really help you and you can implement things that work for you in your life and you know analyze your behavior analyze how food affects you and it's a totally unique and personalized topic in general just like one thing that i'll briefly talk about whenever i mean that everyone should have the information is just that basically the food industry in america is very corrupt if i remember correctly 93 percent of americans have an inflamed gut and i'm just gonna leave that out there so as i was saying i'm just so excited to continue to, to just learn and grow <laughs> This is now a new jar. I get to cleaning, I need 
needed to tell you guys that I found seven seasons. I'm gonna look it up right now. How many seasons does the Game of Thrones have? Oh, it has eight seasons. Okay, so I'm missing one season. Okay, let me explain. So I found all of these. I was clearing out the um, TV stand and I found these. And for you to understand how exciting this is, basically this month, because it's technically still September, I started and finished The Witcher. Which this genre is basically just like witches and like fantasy, right? Like dragons and unicorns and castles and battle, right? And I was telling Fernando that I was kind of really into it. Like I, I was like, I'm kind of really into this genre. Like I'm so excited to like see what else is out there. And he was like, we should watch the Game of Thrones together one day. And I was like, I'm totally down. Literal gift from the universe. This is insane. I just got done cleaning my room and I kind of I don't know if you guys noticed but it was kind of looping a little bit so I decided to paint it up a little bit at the end and I love it I really do hope it grows I'm sure it will to like the very end and if it wants to keep going that's fine but anyways <laughs> I have literally completed all of my to-do list. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. I deleted TikTok off my phone. Yay! I'm just sharing good news on top of good news to you guys. For a long time, it was just very hard for me to delete it. I don't know why. It's called an addiction, actually. I don't remember what exactly enabled me to go on TikTok on my laptop, but I did a few days ago and then I was like, this is way less addictive. Basically, someone got paid a lot of money to design these apps in order for people to be on them 
and so they designed them in a way to be very addictive <laughs> so it's not completely your fault if you're addicted to social media but there is self-control and you do have free will so by the way this is basically just me talking to myself <laughs> so part of the reason why i found it so hard to step away from tiktok itself it's because of the certain algorithm like it's so good like it knows exactly what i want to see and i've followed a bunch of creators that i love their content so now this way i can still see their content but it's, it's not in a way where like i can pick up my phone and just immediately like have it so easily accessible to me which i have found in the last three days to be very very helpful Start our own party so let's go live it up like it's 1999 my kind of party i usually take this with dinner but i had a pretty early dinner so i completely forgot and I think it's totally fine if I take them right now. Yeah, they're just supplements. I'm taking turmeric and I'm taking omega-3. I suck at taking pills. I'm one of those people that can't take pills. But a mindset that I have is that I don't put myself in a box. So even though I struggle to take these pills, I'm still going to do it. It's embarrassing and it takes me a long time and it's honestly a lot of fighting myself. I really don't understand why I can't just swallow it. A lot of people could take a bunch of pills at the same time and just without water. Right now, this seems very far for me, but I'm gonna get there. So yeah, that's another life update.